Most pandas, Puff was black and white. He even lived in a black and white house. He had a black and white kitchen, a black and white television. He even had black and white soap <gasps> in his black and white bathroom. One day, Puff decided it was extremely boring being black and white. So he decided to do something about it. Morning, Puffs. What are you doing today, then? It's a surprise, Buzz. <laughs> you wait and see. Morning, Puff. <laughs> Ooh, what are you doing with all those pots? <laughs> it's a surprise, Snap. You wait and see. Everyone in Timbuktu was getting very curious about what Puff was up to. I expect he's gonna have a party. No, I think he's going to paint his house. I think he's going to paint a picture of himself <laughs> in black and white. <laughs> but what no one had guessed, what no one could possibly have imagined, was that what Puff was actually going to paint was himself. Well, what do you think, Goink? Well, look a bit ridiculous, Puff. I mean, you're not supposed to be pink. You're supposed to be black and white. <laughs> not today, I'm not. Today, I'm a panda pig. The following day, he met Croak. <laughs> well, what do you think, Croak? You look ridiculous, Puff. You're not supposed to be green. You're supposed to be black and white. <laughs> not today, I'm not. Today, I'm a panda frog. And so it went on for the rest of the week. <laughs> well, before long, everyone in Timbuktu was getting very worried. I'm getting very worried about Puff. <laughs> and one or two were getting quite upset. Puff's a panda, Puff's a panda. What's he think he's doing, painting himself funny colours? Giving Timbuktu a bad name, that's what he's doing. And just as everyone was about to become very angry about the whole thing, guess who walked in? <laughs> Sorry I'm late, everyone. What if I would paint all the red spots, Puff? It's not paint, silly. I've been to the doctor. Says I've got measles. Poor old Puff. Poor old Puff. It wasn't much fun having spots that you can't rub off. But when he was feeling a little bit better, all his friends came round to see him. Ah, uh, we brought you some presents, Puff. And you know what they brought? Blue gloves, yellow shoes, and a red hat. Oh, thank you all so very much. So, as soon as Puff was up and about again, he went straight into town to show off his new outfit. Ah, look at you, Puff. You look ever so smart. I know. I'm a black and white and blue and yellow and red panda now. And Wolf took his photograph in black and white for the newspaper. 